Well, welcome back everyone. Uh, today I've got a brand new chainsaw. This is the Steel MS391 and uh, I'm, quite, uh, I'm quite excited about this saw. This is my first steel. Uh, normally I only own uh, Husqvarna products. Uh, it's all I've ever had is Husqvarna. Um, but I've always wanted to uh, have a steel. I've uh, heard a lot of great things about them and I know guys that have them, they love them a lot. They think they're a great saw. So uh, I'm uh, very excited to have this one. Um, so today what I want to do is uh, tell you about the deal I got on this saw. And uh, then I want to kind of compare it to my, my current saw, which is a Husqvarna 359. And uh, I definitely have some questions about this saw. Again, I'm new to steel. Um, I don't know a lot about them, but I know probably a lot of you guys watching uh, own steels. And uh, you got a lot more knowledge than I do. So, uh, yeah, let's have a look at these and uh, maybe you guys can help me out. Stick around. All right, so first, uh, let me tell you about the deal I got on this saw. Uh, tell you what happened. So uh, a guy bought this saw, brand new from the dealer, about uh, a year ago, a little over a year ago. And I uh, thought he was going to cut some wood, but uh, turned out to be a lot harder work than he uh, he thought. So anyways, he's uh, decided not to do that now, so he's going to, so he sold the saw. Um, tell you what I did, I paid $300 for this saw. Now, I think that's about half price, maybe a little better. So uh, I think that was a steal of a deal. Huh? <laughs> Anyways, what do you guys think about that? So uh, I think I did. I got a good deal. You think I got a good deal? Okay, so here's a look at my two saws uh, side by side. So, of course, uh, this is my Husqvarna 359. Now, I've had this saw, I think, around 15 years, and it sure has cut a lot of wood. Man, I, I'll tell you what, that's, that, that is an amazing saw. Um, and it just keeps on working. Love it. And uh, here's my new steel. It's the MS391. Now, definitely, uh, there's a size difference. I can tell right away that the steel is, is definitely uh, a little bigger and a little heavier. But I believe the engine size is the same. I think they're both around uh, 60 cc's. So I don't think there's much of a difference. So it's kind of odd that the, the steel is so big. Um, anyways, now correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Here's my first thing. I believe that the, uh, 391 is the top of the line steel for non-commercial use. Does that, uh, uh, does that sound about right? Am I right about that? Anyways, uh, it is definitely bigger and, uh, and heavier than Husqvarna, so, uh, Anyways, I'm not sure about that. One thing I do like, this is really, I love this. These uh, easy off fuel caps. Uh, that is awesome. That's that's a lot better than the uh, what's on the Husqvarna. So that's kind of a, a nice little thing. Now my next question is on the uh, compression. Now, any most of these saws will have a, a decompression button. So what that hap what that is is if you press that. It uh, releases the compression. It makes it a lot easier to uh, to pull it and start it. Now, I rarely use that. I, I just never do. I just pull it. I'm, I mean, I'm strong enough to pull it without it. What I've noticed is that the, uh, the Husqvarna is... Uh, this has a lot of compression. So, you can definitely tell when you pull this without without having the decompression button pushed. You know, it's it's definitely hard to pull. Now on the steel, what I've noticed is that even without pressing the decompression button, it's very easy to pull. Like it's almost like uh, it's almost like there might be a a built-in automatic decompression. I mean, I, I don't understand. Like I know the saw is like virtually brand new. It's got all kinds of compression and power. I just don't understand why it's so easy to pull. Um, really the decompression button on it, there's, there's just, there's just really no difference. It's almost like a child could start this thing. I mean, it's so easy to pull. So anyways, guys, what do you think about that? Is this, uh, is that a feature of steel or the new saws? Do they have some kind of automatic decompression or what? 
And the next question I have is about where this saw is made. Now, my Husqvarna is made in Sweden. It is, uh, you know, definitely 100% quality, quality built saw. Uh, no question about it. Now, the steel, they always used to be made in Germany, as far as I know. Um, but I've looked that saw over, and nowhere's on that saw does it say made in Germany. Well, except on the bar. It does say made in Germany on the bar, but that's just the bar that's, I believe, is made in Germany. On the saw, there's a sticker that says, um, assembled in the USA, made from foreign and domestic parts. See, I don't like when they say that. That really, you know, that makes me wonder where, you know, steel is actually made these days. Um, I've heard rumors that, uh, you know, some paper pusher or whatever decided to probably uh, move some of the manufacturing of steel from Germany to China. Uh, is there any truth to that, guys? I mean, uh, is steel still made in Germany? Or is this actually, uh, you know, part of the saw probably made in China now? Okay, so my last question, guys, and this may be, I don't know, maybe it's a stupid question. I don't know. I've always run a pro bar. It's got a replaceable nose. Um, and it has a grease hole here. So I can use my, my grease gun and uh, grease up that front sprocket on the nose. Now, I noticed on the steel, um, I know this is just a standard bar, it, it wouldn't have a replaceable nose, but there's no grease hole. Is that something that steel does now, or is that something new? I mean, how is this, how is that lubricated? Is it just lubricated from the, uh, from the chain oil now? Anyways, maybe it's a stupid question, but I was just kind of curious about that. All right, uh, I think that concludes my initial questions that I have about my uh, my new steel saw. Uh, the only thing left to do is try it out and see how it runs. Um, I do have some downed trees that I need to take care of. We had a recent windstorm and uh, it did knock a few trees down uh, around, uh, around camp. So uh, it's a good time to start this saw up and uh, see how it works. Okay, well, uh, first impressions, it uh, seems like a great saw. 
you know, it, it starts really well. It works really well. It cuts really nice. Of course, it's brand new and does have a new chain, so uh, it should cut good. Anyways, and it does. Uh, first impressions, uh, I really like it, although I really notice the weight. I notice that it's, it's definitely heavier than the Husqvarna. So uh, I think if you were going to work it all day, you'd probably definitely notice uh, maybe a little more fatigue. But other than that, um, I'm happy with it. I mean, I think the price was right. I don't think I got a bad deal on it at all. So uh, anyways, that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching this video. I'll end it here. Um, if you're new, do subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Of course, as usual, I appreciate all the support. And uh, do leave me some comments below. And definitely you guys with the steel knowledge, uh, if you could help answer some of those questions, I definitely appreciate it. Again, I'm new to steel, so uh, I really don't know much about them. Um, but anyways, help is always appreciated. Thanks a lot, guys. And uh, we'll see you next time back here at the cabin.